Learn to swing a sword. And become the artist you've always wanted to be. A quick shout out to the folks at 3D Animation Hub for supporting this video. 3D Animation Hub are the creators of the two animate Blender Basic, which is a Blender course for animators. So if you're a Blender artist and you're thinking about getting into animation, learning all the necessary basics and getting up and running with animation within two weeks, then this is the right course for you. This course is composed of several necessary things with 40 plus comprehensive video guides coming from the folks that created Maya and the tree. So for those who are thinking about getting into animation and you're looking for a comprehensive course that will get you up and running with learning how to animate in Blender in less than two weeks, then this is a power packed course that you should consider checking out. And of course, a huge shout out to the folks at 3D Animation Hub for making this possible. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're looking at the music visualizer. So sometime last week, we did talk about some very interesting generators that you guys probably missed and it was a very nice one. It was well received and at the same time, we looked at some of the generators that you have here but one which I think lots of you guys had issues with was the music visualizer, which of course you can get for free. And like we mentioned, this is CC0, which means you can use it for anything that you want. And we also mentioned that if you hit the download button, that the download button will take you over to a page where you can download this totally for free. And once you download it, you'll be able to see all of the generators right here. And within this section where you find all the generators, that is also where you will be able to find the music visualizer and you can simply bring that right in here. So let's just go ahead and open this up so you guys can see it. So how this runs is super easy. Right here, you would see all of the navigations of how this works. But for us to take a look at how you can actually tweak this to your liking, it makes sense to look at the music which you're going to play. So I'm just gonna go ahead and play one sound. So I'm just gonna reduce the volume just a bit. So I'm playing this sound. And this is the sound which we're going to be using. So this sound is from Atlas. I'm gonna put a link in the description where you can find that. Now, how you work with these and actually get the most out of it is to make sure that you convert whatever sound you'll be working with to a WAV file. So how you can convert WAV files are super simple as if you simply go on the web and search for, you know, MP3 or MP4 to WAV file, you'll be able to find lots of sites. I did find the onlineconvert.com, a very nice one. So you can convert lots of things here. It's pretty nice. And uh, all you need to do is just click right here and you can select, you know, convert to this or convert to that and you have it. So what we've done is we've gone through and we've converted this to a WAV file. And one thing which you'd notice is you need to convert that and also rename the file to WAV. So if we double click that, you get to hear the sound. So the next thing which you need to do is go ahead and copy this. And once you copy it, you need to go over to the directory where you have your generators, which is this one right here, and you have to paste it. And once you paste that, drag this all the way here. If you did change the name to something else, because you know, we set it as music. If you did change it to music zero one, you know, something like that, please notify or put that name right here. This is reading directly from the absolute part, which simply means it's reading from the part where the generator is. So if you have the generator stored in your C drive slash, you know, music generator, also make sure that the music file is stored there as well. So once you have that going and everything is looking nice, the next thing you need to do is just to hit the play button right here and the Python script would simply run. And once that happens, the next thing you need to do is move this all the way back, press the playback button, and there you have it. So prior to this time, what you did get is if you press the playback button, you just get to see it randomly play some sound that never exists. But at this point, once you press the playback button, you get to hear the sound and you can now, let's reduce that a bit, and, and you can now switch over to your rendering section and you can see this looking pretty. So for those who are thinking about tweaking and making some changes, of course you can. So since this is procedural, it simply means that you can now go in and you can, you know, play with the height. So depending on what you want, you can play with the height and you can play with the distance. So these are things that you can animate. So you can actually put this right here. Let's bounce this all the way back. So we can put that all the way there. And actually let's make that zero, 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 put a keyframe and right about the point like so, we would actually, that's a bit too much. So probably right about the point like this, we can set this 
to go right here. So it just simply spreads out. And then you need to click on this button to add a keyframe or right click and, you know, put that keyframe right there. So if we bounce this back and press the playback button, you can see that we have, you know, the sound playing and that is something that you might want to have, especially if you're thinking about animating this and also getting the best out of it. The second thing, which I think lots of you guys would also have issues with or maybe have questions with is the shading. So how the shading works is super easy as well. So if we click right here and change the menus and simply switch over to the shader editor, you would find the shader editor right here. So I'm just gonna make sure we have that selected. Let's zoom all the way and you would find it here. Now you wouldn't necessarily see anything to tweak, but how you get to tweak this is simple. Right here, we have a group. So have the group selected, press tab on your keyboard and you can jump right in. So once you're within this section, you can now go ahead and make some nice value changes. So you like to make some changes like so. Maybe you want to animate this, you can. So you can animate that. And if you are thinking about just getting one permanent color, you don't want to have all of this, you know, a uh, gradient color filtering. You can click on this button, set this to near, and you have that set this to far, and you have something nice. You can set this to clockwise to have the same thing, and you can set this to counterclockwise to get something different. So if you have this selected as well, you can go ahead and make some color changes and get the most out of it. Remember, you can make some nice changes with this. You can set the same color and get some counterclockwise colors happening. So I'm just going to click and move this around. So if you want to have something like that, you can. And you can play with some of these parameters right here to get some very interesting results for yourself. So this is more like it for those who are thinking about getting this generator for free. Of course you can, you can simply go ahead and get these generators for free. At the same time, there are tons of things right here that you can pick up and play with. And that's about it. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.